Hey, Master Gardeners, look what I found under the security lights tonight. This big water bug, giant water bug, over two inches long, the, Le the Leviathan of fresh water and a strong flyer. So remarkable adaptations to both breathing in the air and able to fly and able to live in the water because it is one of the true bugs and it lives in the water. So let me show you up close. This guy can inflict a powerful bite. He's got a beak and he can actually inject enzymes into you. So it's not for the amateur to be handling. Fortunately, Josh who's videoing in this is an avid naturalist and he knows how to handle them. So he's helped me with that. So let me hold him sideways. Look at his little grippers. Are these huge or what? That's for grasping prey. He'll consume insects, snails, tadpoles, small fish, frogs, even small snakes, and he can hold them within those little grippers. I meant to bring something else so you could see. Look at his big eyes. You know, that's another characteristic of predators is they always have big eyes so they can catch their prey. But he's got a long little beak, which I, I think I'm too afraid to stick my finger up in there and extend it. There it is. Can you see it a little bit? Yeah, see his little beak? There, it's, it's, it's a quarter of an inch long. Actually, he's scaring me, so I don't want to do that. And his legs are flattened, and oftentimes they have hair on those hind legs so that they can use them like little oars for navigating through the water. So he's attracted to lights at night. Ow, don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that. I'm getting scared, I'm getting scared. Okay, there he is in the water. He's an avid swimmer, <laughs> kind of scared me. But what he has on the back of him, which I didn't show you, see that little, there's a little, his, I say spiracles, I think it's pronounced differently than that. But he breathes like any insect through these little things on his side. But see that little spiracle thing sticking out his back end? And that's how he breathes. He can hang in the water and just keep that inserted above the water to keep breathing. They typically live in the wet, muddy areas in quiet, still ponds. Not fresh moving water, but quiet ponds. And they're called toe biters. And you can guess why, because they like to bite people's tootsies when they're walking in the muddy marshes. So they're um, other nicknames about toe biters, but they lay their eggs on emerging vegetation. Some of the females lay their eggs actually right on top of the male, like all across his back. You can look at them on the internet and see eggs all over him. And they say the females can strongly defend them when they're laying their eggs in the vegetation, that they'll strongly defend them and they're pretty ferocious. So you can imagine what it would feel like to have that little guy aggressively biting your tootsies. So. Don't handle these, I don't recommend that. Um, but an interesting giant water bulb, one of our, our largest, how do you say that order? Hemitra, Hemitra, Hemitra. So anyway, the Leviathan of fresh water that I found under the lights tonight. Okay, cool facts.